Before the following video starts, I just want to say make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and post notification down with get all notifications and leave a comment down below if you like this video. If you have one size, we'll see a free one of my merchandise of a PS5 sign made with made with cardboard and used with some central paints that shows the PS5 logo. So only only free. Get your get your membership only at www.wonderstation.org Let's get in this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a TNT trap. Yes, a TNT trap. You guys have seen that one video I did where I basically built a TNT trap last year. One sec, guys. Sorry. But anyways, but yes, you, you see my video where I basically worked on a fanciest fountain ever and using the clock circuit to make a fancy fountain. So, I had to basically construct materials to build a house right here. This right here is gonna be like a Lincoln Memorial or something like that. I don't know, but I created like this house right here. It looks like a survival house. But, I, I know that I need to make components, sorry, components of the multiple needs and wants to build the TNT trap. So if you wanna build the TNT trap, you'll need your materials. You're gonna need one house that has double doors. Now, if your house looks like this right here, this is not really safe, but but if it is, it should be okay. I'll just let me just go and fix that. I use the birch wood and I use an iron door. I'm just gonna fix that real quick so that my house can look like this. <sighs> So, when you have one house with double doors, then you're going to need, so you'll need that, you'll need some type of, like, landscape you build on your house on, like, if it's on sand, you'll use sand, if it's on grass, you'll use grass, if it's on gravel, you'll use gravel, if it's on stone, you use stone. So, we're using, so if I build mine on grass, we'll be grabbing the grass blocks, then we'll need a TNT block. You'll need stone pressure plates. <laughs> we'll need some trap doors. I'm not sure. I don't know. And then we'll. And then for the last time, you'll need is ladders. All right. So once you have your house and you want all the materials you need, when you want to start building this house, here's what you're going to need. So for the first step is come all the way down to your to come all the way to your doors entrance right here, where you're about where like the welcome mat sign is. And then you want to dig down 17 blocks. So one, two, three. Well, since my mine is basically built on a study, like it's at, it's at the end of the world, so I can't actually have the needs I don't want to. So if it's like this, that's okay. Just basically to then just put place like on the second block. Um, place two tinky blocks right there, and then, and then cover it up with the grass mounds, and then place, that's a weird siren, and then place those right there, and then, that's the little thing trick right here, so, the trick is that I don't want, this is how a TNT house trap is supposed to look like this pretty slim but I don't want the video to go really long but I want to make something an actual phrase of how to make a TNT trap so <sighs> so I'm gonna show you a little bit different how you can create a known trap <laughs> so the first step is when you have an unwanted guest right here like like when you have like an unwanted guest that basically cannot is not responsible enough, 
it will just dig like two blocks down and then fill that you'll fill that area up with TNT and then and you'll you step on this right here and watch this create a, create it creates a crater in the ground that could be stop that could be a next step see what hmm? sorry guys so I want to improvise making this house like more sustainable so for this uh, one we're using some sticky pistons and some dispensers redstone torches and then I'll read some redstone we will also be using some repeaters see what hmm? sorry guys and then we also need the we will also need some buttons as well, I think. Yep, buttons and then we will and then we will need a Okay I'm back. So the easiest way to make an actual TNT trap for your house is the first step is you want to delete at least a couple of blocks all the way. Like we're gonna do two blocks first and dig down to where you see the bedrock. Now, then place redstone, the TNT right up there, and then for the next step it's time to trap it with uh, redstone. Placing redstone right there, and then placing it, an actual piston that upmosts. Now with this repeater, with a repeater set, jet with a repeater jet set, <sighs> easiest way to do this is that if you place one redstone, two redstone. And then place the dispenser right there. And then, if you want, if you want for the trick, place like a ladder to protect yourself with. And then, place trap, place like trap doors on both sides to give it a better up space. Maybe you see a T. Not like these right here to stop what you're doing. Sorry. So this is this is how it's gonna protect us from like the Activision. So place like a place like a redstone torch to, on the back here, and then maybe you have maybe place a button. So it creates a clock circuit, but we have to make sure it's a roundabout. So I need to fix that repeater. And this is how a TNT trap's supposed to look. So, at least I'm not redstone and watch this. That's how a TNT trap is with using a clock circuit. Now, the mechanics of it is what well, if you can use a dispenser that mostly dispensers are commonly used for to trap a person's very own needs and wants. So, for this, we're going to be grabbing a trap chest for this one, and then we'll be grabbing some other needs we'll be using. So, for the, this one, for the trap chest one, if you want to submerge them into lava. So for this one, you'll need a lot of items that will cause you to build this. So I'm not professional of how lava is supposed to be like. It's a, it's a redstone, not supposed to be like a redstone trap. It's supposed to be like a lava pit trap that I'll be building maybe sometime. So replace it with lava and then. Sorry guys, and then, <laughs> then grab yourself some comparators. <sighs> yeah. Then we'll need. And then we'll grab ourselves some observers, and then we should be good. Okay, for the first step now, which of everything, we want to go ahead now and create something now. For this block I need, I'll have to delete the dispenser so I can grab my own block. I'll be using the block of quartz. So the block of quartz is going to help us provide extra sustainable thoughts. So the first step is we want to create rectangle. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Five round, and then we want to have it one, two, and three. Then you want to do the same thing as well. All right, make like a rectangle, and then have something like this right here. Now for the next step is we got we want to get rid of all the shit. We want to get all the dirt that's underground here, so we can see the bedrock. Once you see the bedrock here, 
This is where your buddy comes into place. So for the first step, go back to where the sec go back to a couple spaces and play a TNT block there. Do this on both sides, not not the front or back. And then you want to have something like this right here. You want to place your TNT in there. Then place a row. No, actually place one piston. And then we'll place one repeater. This one. Down. One repeater. Fredstone. Quartz block. And then we want to have another repeater. No way, actually. No redstone coming up. And then we want to have a redstone torch. You want to have a regular block, and then you want to have like a contraption to where this is. Now, I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna connect, need to connect that block to where it is so that we can and actually. Oops, oops, oops. We I'm gonna replace that with the uh, so I want to do something else different since it's looking like crap. So I'm gonna delete everything I have, but leave the TNT in there. I want to make a comparison where. That if I want to, I want to go ahead and dig out these mounds, and go all the way back where this piston is, and then for the first step now I want to create is our map, our flip flop design. So our observer comes into place. So when the observer is done, is that the observers create a charge malfunction to either have your block as a sustainable speed if limited or a velocity of advantage points. So I'll do that. I place a redstone torch. Right there, so that the blocks can go. Go up there a bit, and then I want to, like, sustain with precaution. So I, I'll put the block. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry, okay, so there. Now, we can go ahead now and fix all those mounds. So, the mounds being fixed now, we can go ahead and create our piston mechanism. So, with that, you want to have the redstone torture. <laughs> then we we'll place redstone. Redstone. No, actually, only redstone on the square, on the piston. Then... Thing a block should push those pistons up, and then with that, let's see if this will work. Push those block back, and then this is what the trap should look like. That's not bad. So when it pushes it up, you just want to. Have a basic component, buddy. Or for my last step, I want to have a clock circuit, but this time using an elevator clock circuit. So, for this, we'll be have to building diagonals with the to make an order to make it look like an actual elevator. So, and remember how we use the rest of the torches that are ones that are lit and ones that are burnt. So those are going to be the comp, the like composition of how we can encapsulate the person or NPC who's trying to attract us and trying to kill us will be basically submerged. So this step is we're going to use this, we're going to use some lava bait techniques. So build like this right here, you want to build like a very compulsion right here where you have the uh, multiplicative sketching idea of an isometric shape. And then we want to place redstone torches, sorry from the, sorry. Get your hand okay. Sorry from all the way to the front and the back. Sorry from all the way from the front to the back. And then, like I said, we're going to create, we're creating a clock circuit though. Like we did the water fountain clock circuit example I showed you. Once you have that, we want to go ahead now. We want to create our two next blocks. We'll be coming. We'll be creating a little little hypothesis. We're gonna create a little cube right here. Then we want to have a repeater this way. That that way. It should be. It should be facing that way. And then we want to have a comparator. Have a comparator facing this way. 
All right, delete that comp right and then that we should have what looks like this right here, battery circuits. Wow. Have an arc comp right facing that way, and then with the, re with the repeater facing this way. And then we're now adding some redstone down. Then uh, coming over here. Oh, great. To where uh, the block is. Place, wait, we're gonna place some servers on the, on like there, and then we're gonna come all the way up there. I'm gonna grab our dispenser here. No, actually, no, not dispenser. We're grabbing a TNT. But first, we gotta place our observer on the top here. With a TNT block right there, and then we want to make sure that's fakely charged with any event. So for this last step, I have to place a repeater right there, and I have to place redstone. So for this last step here, I just want to compromise of how my repeater will work, and then we will basically have a continuous idea of thought. So the next time when you basically build your encapsulation. And then that rest on torch right there. You want to make sure you want to like, like, I don't know, like, touch it with a pinch of lava. But then the lava does that. It just does that when the lava's hit. We'll get the point. And then it just blows a little bit. So that's how you can make it. That's that's how you make a TNT trap. Well, if you want to just it for this video, if you want to see more healing down below, I'll get you guys up tomorrow so I could give you videos every daily. Oh, this video was a little. Sh a crappy day, but for tomorrow's video, we'll be showing you guys how to build a disco floor. That sounds really kind of cool. A disco floor, it looks like really fun. But, anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Check out my voice, Ice Nice Channel, and some of the headquarters. Check out any of my record videos. Sorry, that was a deep. Like a hell cut.